hey hi everyone welcome to kg techs so today we are going to see how we can integrate our django application with azure active directory for authentication okay so this is the i am currently on the portal.azure.com and you will uh, you will you know you have to navigate from azure active directory from the home page you have to uh, navigate to azure active directory from there you can click on the app registration and then you can register new app okay you can click on the register new app so that you can you can you know come to this page okay so where you have to provide your application name okay you need to select the tenant basically it is a you know if you are using, going to use the single tenant or multi-tenant okay and from redirect url you can select the web okay or if you are going to use the single page application you can select the single page application and then you need to click on the register okay so once you register I have already, you know, registered with this application, a name called as HTML login app. Okay, just for the demo purpose. And on the overview page, you can find here, you know, your client ID, your object ID and your uh, tenant ID. So client ID and tenant ID is basically required, you know, uh, to authenticate with your Azure Active Directory. Okay, so that uh, we will see it later where we are going to use it. Okay, so then uh there are a couple of uh, more places you need to make some configuration so i will just go to authentication here and in authentication you need to add a platform here okay so if it if your single page application you can click on the single page application and uh, fill up the required details if it is a web-based application you can click on the web okay and post that you can provide your this uh, you know uh, callback url okay so in my case i will be running this application on my local machine so i have provided http uh, you know localhost and then over to and then callback okay so these two are uh, you know necessary that you have to add it whatever the url that you will add it here okay uh, post that one you need to click on the certificate and secrets okay so in certificate of and secrets you need to create one new client id okay that we need to provide when we will uh, you know make some configuration in the django application okay so once you click on the new client secrets the you know uh, the form will be open where you have to just click on the open you have to set the expiry date okay so you can set it for three months six months etc and there are custom values also which you can provide so these are the uh, and and one more thing which is the token configuration where you know basically you have to enable this you know four uh, values there okay so you have to go to the add optional claim access and from there you can uh, you know select email family given name and upn okay so these four three fields basically family name given and upn we are going to use it this email is optional if you want to you know use it in your app, uh, application anywhere you can just click on that can just select that okay uh, this is the ADFS library which we are going to use for you know to integrate our Azure Active Directory with our Django application okay so let's get started you know with the coding so I'm going to use git bash here okay. uh, first I will create one virtual environment okay for our project right now python slash m v n v e n v okay this basically will create one environment for you and that environment you can use it for your uh, you know project configuration okay let me activate this environment source e n v slash scripts slash activate Uh, it will basically activate your environment and uh, to create this environment you have to be you have to install the python on your machine first okay so any 3.5 above version is fine so here i'm going to install the uh, you know django latest version okay so pip install django okay so this command basically will install the latest uh, django version if you want to go with the specific version you can you know define it here is django double equal to and then you can provide the version of you know that you are going to install it okay Okay. 
then uh, okay this django has been installed on you know this in this under this uh, environment now i'm going to create a project here okay django i'm an admin start project uh, let me give a name azure login and period okay so this period basically will create a uh, azure login project under this directory okay otherwise if you don't if i don't provide this uh, you know dot or period you know uh, here then it will create the azure login and inside that it will create one more folder okay yeah so let me just open a visual code So first we will go to the settings.py file. Okay. So let me, you know, install this ADFS library first. Okay. So pip install Django auth ADFS. That we need to copy it from this web page and need to install it here. Okay, this ADFS library has been installed. I'm going to follow these steps. Okay, I'm going to refer the same documentation and we'll make the necessary changes in the, our application. Okay, so I have just copied this Django auth ADFS, you know, uh, from this document and I have pasted under the install apps. Okay, uh, we need to use authentication backend. I'm, I'm going to just copy it from here. I will go at the end of this document and We'll paste it over here. Okay. Then these are the this one something we will you know take it from the another page. Okay, that I will show you. So before that, I will just get this login URL, login redirect URL. Okay. And from you need from here you need to go to ADFS config guide. Azure AD. And uh, you can always follow this documentation, you know, what are the steps that you need to follow this. Okay. I'm going to just copy this code and paste it over here okay once this is done I'm I just save this file I will go to urls.py file and will add the URL pattern here okay so just copy this path over to so this basically when you install this library this ADFS will give you this over to you know endpoint where you can use the login logout etc those URLs I will just add include over here. Yeah. So these three values we need to get it from our application. Okay. So before that, what I will do is I will install dot python dot env package. Okay. Python dot env So here we will create one file called as .env where we will add 
these three details okay your client id client secret and your tenant id sure i will just fill up these details and post that what you need to do is here you need to import write some code okay import os then from dot env import load dot env okay so i will just add these values here in this env you okay and then come back okay so i have added the values in dot env file so once you uh, you know import dot env from load env uh, you need to use the load env to call this okay env file okay so this load underscore dot env that basically will load all the values from this env okay after that you need to come down and if you remember we had you know uh, copied this values right from the uh, from the idfs portal okay so here you have to use os dot get env and the value of your key okay which is our client id okay so let me just do quickly it for rest of the two okay let's start get env and then tenant id and we'll use the client secret here okay now what we are going to do is we are going to create one more application here okay so one app within this uh, azure login pythons manage.pi app okay so this will create one app app you know application within your project okay so first of all when we will create one application we need to register that under install apps then go to your app uh, folder create one file called as urls.py uh, write this code from django.http import import is import path and from dot import views url patterns is equal to path inside that path you need to provide you know any redirect url so i will keep it blank okay so as soon as uh, you know i will consider this as our landing page when the user will successfully logged in okay so from views i am going to create one view called as login successful okay and name is equal to login view okay so save this file go to your views from django to http import http response okay Def. login successful which will take the request as a parameter and return http response Hey, login successful. Okay, this is the message you will get it. Okay, when the login will will get successfully, you can uh, you know as per your requirement, you can add your business logic here. If you want to redirect to any template, you can you know uh, use the render method to redirect that that particular template. Now this uh, URLs, this app we have to register within our uh, project URLs. Okay. Path include app dot URLs. Okay. So that's it. Now we'll perform the make migrations and migrate on this application. Now 
we'll use python manage.py run server okay this is taking some time let me just run it from here use a command prompt if you see this environment is already activated and py run server okay okay our development server has started let me just open the incognito window localhost 8000 okay something is wrong okay i think i have missed to you know use the middleware just go to the incognito installation page and from there you can copy this middleware okay so currently our application is not you know uh, checking if the login is successfully done or not now this uh, middleware will basically make sure that this application has to be logged in with our other active directory okay so let me just re-enter yeah now you can see it right so here basically i'm going to provide my uh, email id this is one of the user that you know is already registered with my other active directory sign in we'll do ask later okay now you can see this you know uh, message that http response that we had provided you can see it here okay thank you for watching the video guys see you in the next video